Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and let's talk about Sydney Sweeney rumors. So there's rumors Sydney Sweeney's is in talks to return to the MCU, um, but as Black Cat. Now, if I was Marvel, and I, if I was Disney, I'll do it. If, think about it. You need something to get people excited for the new Spider-Man. And no offense, I love Zendaya, but Zendaya isn't a marketable character to like oh yeah we can make model figurines after her you just can't not for boys you know i'm so i'm sorry um she was a knockoff mary jane watson and honestly after spider-man no way home leave her leave her and ned and them alone let peter get his get his original cast of characters back his all white friends sorry y'all don't like it but um, Peter needs his white Mary Jane Watson, his white Gwen Stacy, his white black cat, his white um, Harry Osborne friend. I, like, he, we just need to go back to classic Spider-Man. Stop trying to do this diversity and inclusion thing. Because like I always tell people, if you like the MCU Spider-Man, you like Miles Morales. Because a lot of y'all always like be like, oh, Miles Morales suck or whatever. But I love the MCU movies. Okay, so you like Miles Morales. Everything that the MCU took was not from Peter Parker. It was from Miles Morales. I mean, I'm, just, I'm just being honest. Like, I don't know how many times we got to keep saying this same thing over and over again. But it is what it is. But anyway, Sydney Sweeney is right now Hollywood's it girl. Um, people want more, more with her. They want to see her and she's using her feminine wiles to get what she wants she knows she's pretty she knows she's sexy she got titties which i am upset that she was covered up in madam web i had no idea because i never watched um euphoria because i thought euphoria was just over dramatically stupid um because you know i grew up with you know degrassi and all them other other you know high school shows you know 91210 and all that kind of stuff so if you're going to really have kids doing that doing that kind of stuff do you need to be it needs to be for real and it was just overly just mm, it wasn't for me it wasn't for me preferably i understand that people like that like that show and that's great but for me it wasn't my cup of tea but anyway um sydney sweeney apparently you know was wanting to break out characters from the show now i don't really know who she plays and i don't really care about that but the problem the thing about it is after what spider-man i mean after madam webb which is kind of crazy that they didn't that they didn't um that they didn't you know use her her talent because she is literally drop dead gorgeous you know what I'm saying? So, you know, there are reports saying that she's supposed to be um playing Black Cat Felicia Hardy and it would make it would make more sense for her to play it. She has the body, she's already a blonde bombshell Felicia Hardy is this gorgeous woman. The rumors are I mean the is rumors. Nobody's saying that it's real, but if I was Marvel and if I was Sony I would sign her ass up immediately. But the problem is, okay, so even if we do get her to be Black Cat, which Black Cat she's playing? You know what I'm saying? Because um, are we going the route of classic Black Cat or are we going more, um, more kind of like the insomniac covered up Black Cat who's now a bisexual or are we going to are we going with classic 90s Felicia Hardy or are we going with recently bisexual black cat? And if we do go with black cat, are we going to have her dress appropriately for black cat or are we going to have her covered up again? Because even if we did get Sydney Sweeney, if y'all don't show black cat being black cat, in, interested in spider-man into stealing having one of the most gorgeous um outfits ever and one of the most bombshell zip um you know zip down 
costumes where her zipper stops under her titties. I mean, under, you know, where her titties are hold hold up. Then I don't know what to tell y'all because we we not watching no covered up black cat. It was already bad enough when Asomniac did it. It was bad enough when Marvel Spider-Man did it. Like, y'all have to understand who the character is. You know what I'm saying? And we already got Black Cat nonsense going on with the whole um, Ultimate Spider-Man. People was upset at that. The whole John De La Rose thing. You know, com um, what, your boy Zach or whatever. The woke mob or whatever. Like, I get where everybody's coming from on that side, too. But I'm just saying, right now, we need to get Black Cat correctly. Get Sydney Sweeney in there, put her in the most tight fitting form black outfit. And I want to I want a hinge line all the way down to close to the start of her stomach. Her boobs, her boobs are sitting high. They're perky. She got that beautiful white collar, white fur collar around around her sh um, her shoulder and neck. Those beautiful black, I mean, white um, cl um, club, uh, beautiful white gloves and the beautiful white boots or whatever. Like, that's what I want to see. Um, and honestly, I think you should take the look from Spider-Man, the animated series, the 90s one from Fox Kids. It's simple. It's sleek. Go for that one. And she was able to still be sexy and appealing. Do not go the route of the insomnia acting. And do not go the route of recently bisexuality. Felicia Hardy. She got a girlfriend nonsense. No. Felicia for damn near 50 damn years has been a straight character. And I'm telling you. Nobody wants to see a gay black cat. They don't. They don't. Not even a bisexual um one. You can have you might can get away with having a scene where she seduces a girl to get what she wanted, but other than that, that's it. Her main focus is men and stealing. I'm just being honest with you. That's what I want to see from her. I mean, why not? You know, um, it, it would be a major comeback for Sydney Sweeney's and Sony from that terrible Madam Web thing, even though you know it it skyrocketed her. Um, even though Madam Web was hot trash, but putting her in Black Cat, oh my God, could you think of like all of the, the merchandise that, um, that you can make, you can like do so many action figures, you can do statue, hot toys. Oh, and trust me, the girls would be dressing up as her for, um, conventions or whatever. I'm telling you, go for it. Do, do like what you did with Harley Quinn in, um, the suicide, I mean, not the Suicide Squad, but the first Suicide Squad movie. She, that version of Harley Quinn was everywhere, including the original Harley Quinn look. Those two looks are probably Harley Quinn's most iconic looks right now. And I'm telling you, do the same thing with Sydney. Don't cover her up. Don't try to, don't try to take away her feminine wiles. Let her be a femme fatale. Let her be sexy. Let her be beautiful because you already wasted her in Madam Web. And apparently, um, we never really got a chance to fully see those costumes until after all that promotional art for these characters in these amazing costumes. And they don't even wear it in the movie except for 30 seconds in a vision that might come true. Like, come on now, what a waste of time that was. And then you had the nerve to cover her up in that movie, which I was unaware that the Sydney was drop dead gorgeous until her and Dakota Johnson showed up on the red carpet. And I'm like, wait, hold on. What? <laughs> That's that same little girl that we saw. I mean, she's not a girl, but I mean, but you know, she played a, a teenage girl that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, <sighs> Julia Carpenter is a gorgeous woman in the comic books. And then you cast Sydney Sweeney who could play Julia if you gave her a proper chance and you cover her up, you you don't even use any characterization of Julia Carpenter at all for the character. You wasted her and you wasted our time like Madam Webb could have sold a little bit better if you just used the sex appeal. Um, Let's go. Let's uh, again. Let's talk about two female movies that even though a lot of people say they suck. The reason why people um, still kind of talk about them today 
or whatever is because there were merchandise for them and people brought the merchandise. I, I know some people don't want it, don't want to admit it, but yes, somebody had the Holly Berry Catwoman stuff. Somebody had the um, Jennifer Gardner solo Electra stuff. I know I did. I'm not going to sit up here and, and lie. Well, I didn't have the Holly Berry stuff, but I definitely had the Jennifer Gardner Electra stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they made sure those 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 female characters. Yeah, the movies sucked, but they were memorable because the women, the ladies, were drop dead gorgeous, and they were able to make merchandise off of them. Like Ike Perlmutter said when he was doing a lot, um, when he was greenlighting movies or whatever, you have to think about merchandise and toy etiquette. Like Zendaya, she's a beautiful woman, but Michelle Jones, Ned Lee's. All of Spider-Man's classmates, I can't even believe y'all even made merchandise around them. Those hoes don't sell. It, they don't sell. And remember, this is Zendaya that we're talking about. And Zendaya's not selling to the boys. So that's a problem. Now, if you had made her Mary Jane, if you, if you were going to try, if you made Zendaya drop dead gorgeous in the movie where she was wearing heels and she was beautiful the whole time and you focus on her, her you know, no offense, her body. You know, maybe you could have made merchandise work for her. But no, you had to make her a bomb. You had to make her like this loner goth chick kind of thing that nobody wants to see that. I don't want to see that, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Especially then when the red carpet premieres for all of Zendaya movies, she comes out being the best dressed ever. But then in the movie, she looking like, she looking like a damn bum. Who the heck, who, how does that correlate to want to... Sell, like you remember you're trying to sell her to people and honestly she's not sellable but sydney sweeney is sellable you better focus on her best assets them titties mm -hmm. yeah i know somebody's gonna listen to this video and say oh i'm being sexist but no realistically you need to look at this business wise and understand like look she's all the rage right now Let's put her in this Spider-Man movie. Let's put her in one in a sexy black cat costume. She's in on the joke. We're in on the joke. She, we'll give her some merchandise royalties or whatever and stuff like that. Even if Spider-Man 4 is not that great, Sidney Sweeney dressed up as black cat will, brought, will be the most talked about thing in that damn movie. And people will go to the movie just to watch that. Y'all have to understand, like, come on now. Get back to business. It's right there. There's too many people on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all that kind of stuff that is saying the same thing that I'm saying right now. Do it. Do it. Put her put her ass in a damn black cat costume. Let her be black cat. Let her be sexy. She is literally black cat. I mean, black cat is literally a femme fatale who literally uses her body to get what she wants. And to try to cover that up to, oh, we're trying to subvert expectation or to obscene from the male gaze bump all of that you want the male gaze because guess what those are motherfuckers that are buying the movie tickets those motherfuckers that are buying the merchandise the toys and then after that while you own now you can do variant covers of sydney sweeney's version of black cat in a five issue mini series focusing on black cat duh duh think thanks dumb dumbs that's how you do it. Money is money. And like it or not, sex sells. Don't care what nobody say. Sex sells. And honestly, if it was me, oh, I'm calling up, I'm calling up Sydney Sweeney immediately. And we're 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 getting her in a form-fitting black cat costume. We're gonna do some test screenings or whatever and stuff like that for the executives and, and understand, like, hey, this is money right here. We need money. I don't care. Who's offended? The majority audience will like this. It is what it is. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys, uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.